Hey everybody, Storm Shield Meteorologist Jason Myers here. It is Senko de Mayo. It's a Monday. It was a pretty quiet weekend for most of us. Florida, you saw a little bit of rain. Heading into this week, we're starting to see some things building, especially across the plains over these next couple of days. And by the middle of the week, we could be seeing a chance for some severe weather. Let's get straight to the maps. Check this out right now. Fairly quiet uh, all across the country, seeing some rain and snow in parts of, uh, well, northern Minnesota, Wisconsin, as well as the UP of Michigan. As we head through the day today, we start to see that rain really just traveling along a little boundary toward the east. Eventually, some rain showers developing in parts of, uh, looks like the mid-Atlantic states, Pennsylvania, West Virginia, Virginia, as well as Maryland right there. And then some rain showers in parts of uh, Montana as well. The rain showers continue to head out to the east as we head through the overnight and more rain showers develop in parts of North Dakota and really uh, spanning from southern Montana down through Nevada. What I'm really watching though, this is uh, we're starting to work our way into the overnight hours. Low pressure is really beginning to develop right in this general area here, Wyoming, Colorado, Utah. And that really develops more and more so. We start to see more defined low pressure system over the central part of the country there. Uh, here we are. This is uh, very, very uh, late at night, uh, Tuesday night. But it, as we get into Wednesday, we start to see a better chance of more storms really developing. And it looks like it's going to be as far north as uh, South Dakota and Nebraska, though storms are going to be firing along this frontal boundary here from Texas up through Iowa. And that's where we're going to see that chance for some severe weather. Let's go ahead and rewind and take a look at the temperatures as well. And this is what I mean by things are really building for us. The temperatures, not too bad this morning, but watch as we head through the week. Seeing some serious heat building all across the south, especially along the east. You're going to see a few spots in white along the Texas Panhandle and working its way into Oklahoma. Those are temperatures in the hundreds. Purples are the 90s, and we're even seeing some 90s in parts of South Carolina and Georgia. And look how far north that heat is reaching, up to parts of, uh, well, North Dakota, Minnesota. You're not used to seeing heat this hot just yet. Heading through the overnight, things cool back down. But this is into tomorrow tomorrow afternoon and evening. Again, another hot day. Notice this ridge of just some serious heat. The humidity is going to be building at the same time as well. And again, seeing some hot, hot air as we head into a, the Wednesday and into Thursday. This is Wednesday evening right here. And Thursday, that heat starts to really shift to the east. We're really seeing a frontal boundary forming here Wednesday and Thursday. And as this system works its way, farther to the east, we're going to see more thunderstorms developing over these uh, near the middle of the week toward the end of the week and working its way east, some of which could become severe. Right now I'm going to show you the instability in the atmosphere. There we go is what we're looking for. And the, here is a look at the jet stream area. And notice it's fairly quiet early on in the week. We're looking at some pretty tame conditions but watch as we head through the rest of the week. This uh, area shaded in yellow and orange, that's called, that's called CAPE. That's like instability in the atmosphere. And watch as it builds over the middle of the country. We're not really concerned with this little bullseye out here in the Atlantic Ocean. That shouldn't cause us any troubles. But the jet stream starts to buckle a little bit because it's really digging down on the west coast there. And on, along the eastern border of that, we're seeing that CAPE or that instability really beginning to build. This is uh, really late tonight and into tomorrow. We start to see that cape growing, starting to see that bullseye in parts of Kansas as well as Missouri, Oklahoma, and Arkansas. And then even bigger as we head into, uh, this looks like it's uh, Tuesday evening. And then Wednesday, again, more of that cape really building. And notice the jet stream really digging far to the south in Arizona, New Mexico. This is all going to shift to the east, and these are just perfect ingredients for some severe weather. We could be looking at some large hail, potentially some tornadoes, and definitely some strong winds associated with this. This is still a couple days out, so not really uh, concerned just yet, but I do want to point that out, that Wednesday and Thursday, especially for the middle of the country, we could be looking at 
a slight risk for some severe weather. In fact, the Storm Prediction Center has already issued that slight risk for Wednesday, and they're even looking ahead to Thursday as well. So Wednesday and Thursday this week, I think that risk could potentially move a little farther to the east on Friday as well. Going to keep a close eye on things. In the meantime, it's pretty quiet these next couple of days, both today and tomorrow on Tuesday. Just seeing a, a few scattered rain showers here and there across the country and that heat really building from about Texas and Oklahoma on to the east. So enjoy this exceptionally warm weather while it lasts if you're in that part of the country. Along the west coast, it's a little cooler, but uh, not too bad. It looks like the weather should be uh, fairly uh, comfortable for you over these next couple of days. Just remember, subscribe to our videos here on YouTube. We'd really appreciate it. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter, StormShield app for both of those. And uh, in the meantime, enjoy the weather while it lasts and keep an eye to the sky for that severe weather. We'll be back tomorrow.